We're headed north with um, a car full of junk, and the junk being on all of my possessions. I am moving to Virginia, to Tyson's Corner, near Washington, D.C., and I'm about to be in North Carolina, I think, pretty well, yeah. Um, and so I'm leaving Georgia, and I don't know when I'll be back. You know, it was kind of a good feeling uh, after returning after a year, being back in Georgia. But then, if that got old, and then, you know, I got dumped and uh, didn't have a house, really. and was living in an RV. I sold that and decided to look for a job because I haven't worked in a couple of years because I didn't want to. And now I kind of want to. I, I, um, I don't know. But anyway, I found one, I think. I'm pretty sure. They said, yep, you're good to go. I always have that doubt until the first uh, <laughs> paycheck rolls in. Um, or somebody's at the building to let me in when I show up. Alright, look at that. Focus. Focus. Alright, well, I um, just talked a lot. wasn't recording, but in North Carolina now. And it's kind of uh, bittersweet. Uh, I think it's going to be good for me to move away from Georgia for a lot of different reasons. Um, but it's also sad, you know. Well, here we are. It's um, 7.30 on Sunday, the 23rd. I'm in Charlotte, and I spent the night after traveling a few hours. And I have a few hours more to go to Virginia, Tyson's Corner, near DC. I gotta say, this uh, this bed was excellent last night. A pretty big room, desk, and a couch. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it was, uh, <clears throat> I was tired, I didn't get in until like, um, around 10. So it was a long day yesterday. Um, I flooded the shower accidentally, but it was my fault. And I had some coffee. And um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, get finished packing and uh, hit the road. Join me, won't you? This rental car makes um, weird noises. Anyway, look, here's the outside. Now, let's go check out. All right, headed out of the highway. Um, long, long way to go. Let's, um, let's teleport here right now. We made it to Virginia. I was hoping there would be a rest stop, a welcome center. I guess there could still be. But, um, alright, that's my, the last day to this trip more hours to go hopefully there is a welcome center I need to stretch my legs and um, refill my water bottle okay where is the center is this it I don't see what it, this could really be signed better welcome center to the left Okay, there's nothing to the left. There's a hill. Um, there it is. Well, it's a very small one, huh? No trespassing. Doggy station. I turned into the man. They really need to sign that better. That's annoying. Cause now I'm on the wrong side. Usually these visitor centers have giant blue signs with big arrows. And this is just like a little tiny sign that points you to the wrong one. Alright. Okay.
Oh, the visitor center is pretty cool. A lot of people in there. I get uh, embarrassed filming, I guess. There's a highway down there. Um, it's kind of hazy today. But, uh, yeah, all right, well, let's get going. All right, sitting in uh, construction traffic. Making my way. Wish I had one of those U-Hauls over there. A little airport. It's fun. Yeah, it keeps adding time on my, um, my trip here. It used to be three hours and, um, or two hours, or no, what am I trying to say? It used to say I'd get there at like, um, before two o'clock. It keeps creeping up and up. It sucks. Look at the mountains. to continue on exit 47A. All right, we made it to Tyson's. Um, oof. Hit traffic. All right, well, I, I, I skipped the apartment. Um, I'm in there now. I'll show you when I get back. Right now I'm making a, a quick return to a Best Buy uh, so I get to look around town. Um, train just came through up there. Um, it's only an eight minute walk to Best Buy from my place. But it's really hot and I have the car until tomorrow so I might as well make use of it. Uh, I can look around. I'm trying to find my office building. It's near here. I just don't see the name. On it. Maybe I'll drive over there after I do this return and then drive it back straight to my apartment and see uh, what it looks like. In uh, Tyson's corner, car rental went through, returning it, so that's good. Still got to get those pesty fees that I didn't agree to off, which is like a hundred and something bucks, so... Uh, um, yeah, let's see what happens. hit myself with the uh, door. Well, here it is. Um, wow, a lot of moving lately. And yeah, I don't have a lot of stuff, unfortunately. Um, got some stuff, but it's in a place that I can't get to it without opening some old wounds that are kind of healed. So got to make, make a decision about that or buying some furniture. Obviously, uh, living in an RV for... Uh, close to two years, uh, has it has its drawbacks once you um, decide to get an apartment or a house. But here it is, Virginia. Let me show you around. This is my piece of furniture. Had a porch, that's kind of nice. I actually just used this as um, the entryway. Um, cause this is kind of creepy out here. Yeah. It's weird, the entrance you go down to, to get to those entrances behind me. And then there's this. Anyway, um, it's a lot bigger than an RV, that's for sure. Yeah. A lot of furniture is going to have to be purchased. Kitchen, an AC that's broke. We'll get to that. Um, nice little kitchen. Paperwork I'm still doing. Toaster oven. Been using this a lot. Took some time to figure out how to use it without burning things. But I think I got it. Uh, it's very fast. 
um, my this is where I'm at 99% of the time. I need to um, get another monitor. That's a must. And my headset's dying. Um, so I've got to replace that. I keep having to buy things. Um, this is for towels and stuff, but I don't really have that many. Um, nice little bathroom, right? That cute, I got a, that cute little uh, shower curtain. It was the cheapest one. Obviously the aesthetic uh, leaves um, it could be better, but it works for now. And here we go. I've got to get, I don't have anything for a bedroom. That's an inflatable mattress I had to buy. I do have a mattress. Uh, it's just in a spot that um, will be emotional to get to. So, anyway, so I told them that the AC quit working, and uh, they brought me this until they can get it fixed. So that's pretty cool. Thankfully, it didn't get too hot. It's, um, I think it's only like 78 outside. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm sure I'll find some uh, adventures around here to share with you. All right.